Hi, my name is uh, Eric Lagasse. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Pathology at the University of Pittsburgh. And I'm also director of the Cancer Stem Cell Center at the Magawan Institute for Regenerative Medicine. So let's talk about cancer. Um, when you work uh, with cancer and cancer cells, uh, you, have to ask you, you have to ask really important questions. And there are probably two very important questions. The first question would be, where cancer uh, come from. And the second would be probably how cancer cells grow. And uh, to understand this, you have to look at the, at the cancer and the tumor in the patient. So if you look in the tumor in a patient, what you see is that the tumor is form of tumor cells. And that these tumor cells, they're not identical to the other. I mean, they're different from one to another. Uh, you have a mix of different type of cell of tumor cells. It's called basically heterogeneity, that cells are different from one to another. And in cis cells, you have cells which are more primitive and cells which are more mature. And the primitive cells, they, ca they call cancer stem cells. And why they call cancer stem cells is because cis cells are supposed to initiate the tumors. What we said about initiating tumors is that if you take all these different cells, isolate them, and try to originate a tumor out of these cells, only a subpopulation of these cells are able to originate the tumors. And these subpopulation of cells are called cancer stem cells. Why is this so important? It is important because when people are treated uh, for the cancer they have, they, they are treated to reduce the size of the tumor. And when they reduce the size of the tumors, uh, it's, it's sort of, the, the, it's viewed as a, as a, as a positive um, outcome. However, if the tumor cells and the cancer stem cells are just a fraction of the tumors, you can have a reduction of the tumors without the cancer being actually uh, cured. Basically what will happen eventually is that the cancer stem cell, the few cells which remain after the chemotherapy and the treatment of the patient will grow back the tumors. So finding the cancer stem cells, isolating the cancer stem cells, identifying uh, the cancer stem cells is very important. We have basically two questions. The first question is uh, where uh, do cancer come from? And the second uh, would be how do cancer grow? And basically, another question would be, are stem cells part of the, the cancer uh, phenotype and the disease? So if you look at a patient, and you look at a patient who has a, a solid tumor, which is basically what happens when people have cancer. Uh, see, solid tumor um, is composed of tumor cells. And not every uh, tumor cell is equal to another tumor cells. They're actually quite different. Uh, you have some cells, some tumor cells, which are more primitive cells, which are capable to expand the tumor. And you have some tumor cells which are not. And this is an important point, because when uh, people are treated for cancer, like through chemotherapy, irradiation, what happens is that the tumor shrink. But when the tumor shrink, that doesn't mean that the, the primitive cells, the cancer stem cells, the cells that actually seed the cancer, are actually destroyed. What does that mean? Is that mean that a lot of tumor cells are dying and probably a lot of more mature tumor cells, the cells which are not that dangerous for the patient, are actually dying. So finding the cancer stem cells is basically finding a needle in the haystack. There are, in general, very few of these cells present in the tumors. And uh, what we are doing in my lab 